Hi, I'm Joseba from Gainza Winery. This is my family estate winery here in Basque Country. That's the way they dress in Basque Country, by the way. He has traveled from northern Spain right here to Chicago to bring a taste of his home to our home. Joseba Lascano is here. He's a fourth generation estate owner and winemaker, giving us a taste of some of his wines that come directly from Basque Country. Welcome to you. Thank you. Java, also joined by Brooke Webster from Ole and Obergato. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming on because we always like it when it's wine o'clock on this show, don't we, Gaynor? <laughs> yeah, she's not talking, but she does, in fact, have a little bit of wine over by her, don't you? Just, Just a, a little. Just a little bit. Just All right. a pinch. Just have a, welcome to Chicago. Glad Thank you're you. here. This is your first time here in yeah. Chicago, right? I yeah. hope I hope we've been treating you well. Uh, you've, I know you've been touring around, sampling your wines. Tell us about these because I don't see any reds here. You don't you don't grow you don't grow uh, and do reds on on yours. It's it's about the whites, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Basque Country is situated in the north of Spain, uh, western of uh, Pyrenees, and uh, in the corner of France, okay. and have one fantastic. Uh, cost. We have uh, in property uh, 25 hectares mm -hmm. near to the ocean and make Chocolina, the local wine Chocolina. Basque. Yeah, right. not chocolate, but Chocolina. It's it's different, isn't it, Brooke? Yeah. Yes. So this is a light <laughs> effervescent style. So not All a sparkling right. wine, but a little bit tiny bubbles in there. All right. Let's have some of these tiny bubbles. He, he has the most amazing pours, by the way. Go ahead and, and pour this. So tell me tell me about this. Um, your your great great grandfather then started this this winery. Yeah, I'm fourth generation. My great grandfather uh, construed the Gainza farm in 1923. All right. And next year we have uh, 100 years. 100 years. So yeah. See, this is what you have to do. You have to swirl, right? That's why they don't pour a full <laughs> glass. Yeah. And then you swirl. You're both. You're both. Um, Somalias too, right? Yes. And yes. You know, this is a perfect brunch wine, Sean. This is uh, <laughs> Oregon breakfast. You don't say so. You know, uh, my my uh, some of my family members. If you watch the show, you know that I have some family in Australia. They brought some Tim Tams and some other stuff, including some Vegemite crackers. Um, so maybe we can pair this up later with that. I think the rosé would go perfect with that Vegemite cheese. Um, <laughs> some great some great pairings with this are also seafood, sushi, spicy Asian food. Okay. Um, and and um, this is a light oh, effervescent very... style of wine that is very traditional, also in green packaging. Yeah. Um, so always giving back to the earth. Um, and uh, we just are so happy to have Joseba be able to come mm -hmm. to Chicago after after pandemic. We never had right. were able to have winemakers here for two years. Uh, by the way, Gaynor, how's it going over there for you? It's going great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here's a look at this. This is beautiful country. Yeah. You know, I mean, Chicago's beautiful and it's right on the lake, but we don't have rolling hills and mountains like this. Tell us about your home. Um, uh, we are in the Getaria town. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful uh, small town. Uh, Balenciaga, the designer of clothes and fashion, is oh, born Balenciaga's in Oh, Balenciaga's from there, yeah. yes, yeah. okay. Yeah. And first navigator around the <laughs> we, world. We can just got Gator's, <laughs> Gator's attention again. <laughs> oh, Balenciaga's from there, well, pardon me. Let's go, let's go have some wine and some fashion, all in one, one full swoop. Yeah, and have a fantastic uh, uh, food, a uh, very nice restaurant, mm -hmm. and a lot Michelin star. Oh, restaurant. Michelin star. Yeah. And it's a small yeah. town, too. Yeah, but uh, it's part of history of Basque country, the gastronomy, right. good food. Yeah. Uh, so we have, a, we have a rose here, too, right? Yeah. Tell, I, tell us about the rose. Here, let me, let me, I have to finish this up because we only have one glass for me. So. Go ahead and pour. Yeah, we use uh, the traditional uh, barili, it's on the rabi, but uh, we wow. have on the rabi suri, the white barili, and a little bit, very limited production of on the rabi belza, is the red barili. In the I, make of rosé, use uh, a more quantity of uh, black on the rabi. It, yeah. it's, it's interesting, isn't it, Brooke, when the R's start rolling? <laughs> yes. So naturally. <laughs> so naturally, we so try, beautifully. We try to do a rolled R here in Chicago, and it's just not going to happen, is it? What's um, interesting about this rosé is that most rosés are made from red grapes, and this rosé is made bright. from a white Thank and you. a red grape that's, together. It's very bright. Yes. It's not what you would 
Of course, they have some. It's crisp. It's there is a crispness to it. All right, uh, and you have a hotel right on your wine yeah, room too, right? Yeah, we uh, release the Anotourism, and we have a very small hotel, six rooms, and release hotel. Wow. And the uh, international guest is uh, coming and release uh, tours of uh, winery. Uh, and yep. The bonjours. All right, let's tell the folks at home how they can find this because this is really good. And you can learn more, by the way, of Gustavo's estate and the wine going uh, on his website or his social media. You can find it there. See, at that's Ole, very complicated. At Ole Obrigado. You can do Ole Obrigado, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I'll, I'll, you know, I'll link it on my social media because, and, and then you can get a taste of the Gansa wines uh, this Tuesday, right? No, at Tuesday, August 23rd. August 23rd. So it's not this Tuesday. So this is at the end of the month. The prompter's wrong. It's, it's <laughs> It happens. But it's at Uve, which we've had on the show before uh, for Sunday brunch. Uh, Uve in Andersonville, a great place if you ever want to go to Andersonville and get a bite to eat. 